Well, I'm kind of pissy right now. The band tryout generally went well, as far as my involvement in it, and it went, it went fantastic. But... Then I guess there is some pissiness between the members. And... Bass player came up with this idea. He didn't know it was an odd timing. It went 7, 4, and and 4-4. Four, four. Went back and forth between the two. And uh, he didn't know it. But the guitarist was like, uh, you know, this part is weird. And I said, oh, well, it's 7-4 four, and 4-4. Four, four. Oh, well, that's why. It was also an unusual progression. And he was like, the guitarist was like, well, I don't really like it, but we'll try to work with it. So we did. And... I counted out the timing so everyone else was able to... Uh, everyone else was able to get the part down main one I wanted to have down first is the drummer, so once the drummer has it, you know, it's good. So I counted out the parts, drummer got it down, I came up with a vocal line, it was sounding really good, and eventually the guitarist just says, well, I'm taking off, and he just headed out. And I just thought, well, you know, this sort of thing just sometimes happens in bands, I didn't take it badly or anything. And then we continued working on it and the rest of us there were continuing to work on it and all seemed well in that regard. And then today I get a text from the guitarist saying that, you know, he's tired of the bass player trying to you know, it's supposed to be collaborative writing, and the bass player is trying to take over that, and I'm like, uh, I'm thinking to myself, a song idea always starts with one part. People don't just simultaneously write parts all at the same time, you know? It just, that's not how it works. It never works that way. So, anyway. But then he went on to say something that just really irked me. And that was that... Um, if you can't get a part down, if you can't get a section down in a song within 10 minutes, that it's not worth writing. <laughs> it's like... So that's pretty blunt and text back. I said, well, that's kind of the Elton John, the new Elton John way of writing. You know, I mean, because ever since Elton John's writing kind of went down the tubes, and I'm including Lion King and stuff like that in it because that's just simplistic bullshit as far as I'm concerned. Yes, it became popular. Yes, 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 fine, fine. But it's nothing like the stuff he wrote in the 70s. So... Um, but Elton John, you know, in the recent years, he said, well, if you can't write a song within five or ten minutes, it's not worth writing. And to me, that's the, that's the laziest, most possible way that you could approach music writing. The laziest. So, really disappointed me. We continued to talk a little bit more, and he was suggesting that, well, you know, this keeps up with the way that it is with the bass player. Um, he, may, he may have to start a different band. I'm going, oh. <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, well, if the other members have to start a different band, I'm... I'm I'll join that, and it, it won't be with you, dude. Because, <laughs> uh... I don't go for that lazy writing shit. Sometimes songs take a while to, to come together. You could spend an hour just on one part. That's how it works. If you want to write something good, 
you got to be willing to spend the time. <laughs> so, anyway, um, so, then there's the issue of my friend with a meth habit. And that's very unfortunate. I knew right away there was a problem when he had gotten, he was finally getting back to Tacoma because he had a, someone paid for a train trip for him to go back to Tacoma. And I was immediately like, hey, let's go to the meeting. He was like, no, he's really tired. He's got to get some rest. And then he has a, a therapist, an appointment with his therapist. It's like, wow, he's been able to get a lot of appointments with his therapist. <laughs> anyway, um, then I inquire about the next day. Oh, he needs to help his sister, and then he sees his therapist. Okay. So then we make it for today, Thursday. And, uh, I message him. Hey, it's Thursday. There's a meeting at 7.30 in Lakewood. Should I pick you up at 7? Oh, I need to help my sister. Well, I proceed to look at his posts on his wall on Facebook. And he's talking about visiting a friend and all of his posts are about sex. Yeah, sister, your sister. What, you go to your sister's for sex? I don't think so. <laughs> um, he goes, oh, it'd be better if we just do this next week. I said, well, what about tomorrow? Doesn't answer for the longest time. Then he eventually says, oh, I, 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 uh, basically says that he's busy. Then he says he's going to see his family on the week. I said, so between today and the entire weekend, you can't take an hour and a half of time out of your day? Silence. So, I'm still friends with him on Facebook, but I unfollowed him because I'm not going to look at his posts where he's basically self-destructing. He's not posting negative stuff, but it's all sex, 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 sex. Okay, fine. But I know the only way he enjoys sex is with his meth, so just... But I've told him, you know, look, I love you, man. If you, when you want, when you want help, you want to go to a meeting, call me. I'm here for you. Um, so, just some pretty disappointing times. So.